Hey everyone, Ava Flanell here. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be discussing the top budget AR-15 pistol. Hold up, why is the on-air light on? Why are you behind my table? Ava, why are you talking about one of my guns? What's going on? Whoa, whoa, whoa. First of all, this is my thing, okay? No, whoa, this is my, hey, why, why guys, are you here? I just came out of the waiting room. The lady said I, we're gonna talk about stag pistols today. No, we're what talking- What is he doing here? No, we're talking about the top five budget AR-15 pistols. That's what I'm talking oh, about. No, Anything. no, I'm talking about it. We brought it. All right, you know what? Let's just all work together. Okay, I'm cool with You're that. fine. If Come anything, on. we're gonna enhance readings. Welcome back everybody, Clinch here today with Classic Firearms. We've got two familiar faces on the channel today. We've got Ava Flanell, and that's not flannel, that's F-L-A-N-E-L-L, -L, right? Yeah, but stay tuned for my flannel line coming out this fall. The the flannel flannels? That's, I mean, why oh, wouldn't man, you I do can't that? Wait. Yeah, <laughs> it's gonna be great. <laughs> and of course, you guys should recognize Auburn from Stag Arms with us today as well. So hey, Auburn. Hey, I don't have a flannel line coming, but I might have a sweatshirt line, maybe. I don't hey, know. how about this? You got a gun line, bro. Got a gun line. That is true. Speaking of guns, we're going to roll right into it. Obviously, you're here on the Classic Firearms channel where we talk about firearms. And today we're talking about the top five budget AR pistols. This is one that we had in the running already, planned to planned to shoot, and then you guys were in town. So we're we like, showed up. We crashed the party. It's true. So we're I figured, well, let's just integrate wait. this because one of your guns is actually on the list. You might not like where it is on the list, but we'll find out. We'll find out. Yeah, I we'll see. find out. Yeah. All right, what's number one? Number five. We start from the bottom. Oh, Ava. oh okay. Here number five is actually the Smith & Wesson MMP 15 pistol. Hey. Granted, this is a rifle, but imagine you take this and you made it with like this, and then you ultimately get the pistol. You put a brace on it, and then also their MMP grip. And you've got some experience with Smith & Wesson. I right? do. I'm actually one of their sponsored ambassadors. Not right. one of their sponsor shooters, because shooting's not really my forte, but, <laughs> you well, know, so, okay. <laughs> but yeah, I'm actually sponsored by Smith & Wesson, so I do have experience with this, and yeah. it's a phenomenal pistol, especially for the price. And like you said, it does come with their their grip, right? And which makes it, you know, just easy well, to... Well, it's a lot better than the A2 grip. Yeah, I can totally. say that. I Absolutely, mean... and you can switch it out, so if you have smaller hands, thicker yeah. hands, Switch out that that pump swell, and yeah. you got the perfect fitting AR AR pistol. Right. No, I, I agree with that. So it is a fantastic firearm for the price point as well. Reliable mm -hmm. quality. It just works. And Smith and Wesson's been around in the game for quite some time. Totally. Um, a little bit longer than some others, but you know. I don't know, man. It's still not a stag. There's something weird about that. But I, hey, we're oh, doing here good. Here we go. Good here. for them. Good for them. Let's roll into the next pick. All right, Clint, what is number four? Number four is this spicy little guy. The oh, Springfield look. Saint line of AR pistols. First of all, the Springfield Saint, I think, is probably one of the best, one of the best out-of-the-box AR, AR, ARs that you could buy. Mm -hmm. uh, they just, again, all the features and qualities that they have. Granted, sometimes their price point's a little bit higher, and this is more of affordable AR okay. pistols, you know, so I figured, you know, a little bit lower on the list due to that, but it does come with some great features. First of all, I think it's a uh, seven and a half inch barrel. Yeah, but uh, it has a little extra little Blast deflector, device, yeah. yes. So what's cool about this is the fact that it's able to direct all of those concussive forces away from the shooter. Granted, a seven and a half inch barrel for the 5.56 cartridge is going to be violent, yeah. to say the least. Uh, so having that is a nice feature. The M-Lock rail on it obviously has that nice little cut to it, which again, I kind of like that. It I mean, looks pretty aesthetically pleasing. It is, and it allows you to get really a good grip on the gun and then yeah. you know, be able to drive that thing pretty easily. Of course, pick a tinny where you need it. Mm -hmm. M-Lock everywhere else does have a 45 degree short throw ambidextrous safety. B5 grip, which I'm a huge fan of. Dude, B5's been putting their stuff on all these guns lately. Yes, which- I see it everywhere, which I know yeah. you love. Yes, I do. And uh, on top of that, enlarged trigger guard as well. And this, the trigger itself is really nice Pretty also. Pretty legit. Yeah, so it's that flat face trigger, but still kind of like mil spec-ish. Yeah. So it's not like super light or anything, but it does have a very short take up and a super nice short reset. Tell me what you think about that. I, I just saw, okay, we're doing this again. Here we go. All right, you guys ready for this? All right, so let's see this. So very little travel. Yep. It's a nice trigger for, again, out of the box. And then look at this reset. Short and sweet. No, they're, they're solid. The oversized trigger guard is something else that I'm a big fan of. We already talked about the B5 grip. And uh, 
With that, the Magpul brace that they have on here, because this is considered a pistol, this is a uh, AR pistol brace mm -hmm. to position on top of that. And so you can have a little bit of an adjustable length of pull on it, but it's it's pretty sturdy. It's solid. Yeah. You'll get a great uh, cheek weld. And who makes this? Magpul. Magpul, okay. Yeah. So no, it's it's pretty solid. Now let's see what you think about it, Alvin. I mean, I know they're our competitor. They're great. They got, you know, it looks good. I'm yeah. sure it shoots good, yeah, but that's probably why they're still number four. They're not a stag. I think it's okay. It's, it's you know, I'll, I'll share some love to them. They're great. They're that's doing, good. They're doing a good job. Okay, cool. All so right. we got Ava's approval and Auburn's on that one. Let's move on to number three. So are we on number one yet? No. Oh, uh, what, what are we on? Number three. Oh, uh, number three. Cool. What's number three? I'm, I'm curious. Are you? Yeah, I'm. I'm... Foxtrot Mike. Ooh. Foxtrot Mike and their line of AR pistols, I think, are pretty cool. They've got a very unique and innovative system that allows you to have a DI system yeah. without having to have, it's bufferless, without having to have a buffer tube and all that. So you can have this set up running with either a stock or a brace or whatever, depending on what configuration you want to run it or sling it up. So it's a really cool design in that aspect. And overall, for the price and everything, I think it is a fantastic option. Yeah, I actually I, yeah. have some of these at home. What is that, yeah. JMAC custom? Uh, yeah, is that JMAC? I think yes, it is. Yeah, yeah, it is. So, I mean, the fact that they can kind of like, so we, we both know Paul pretty well. Yeah. And uh, the fact that he was able to kind of like come up with this and it's then- It's pretty genius actually. Yeah. And, and you might even think like, okay, it might seem a little weird because you're literally charging it from the side yeah. of the charge, or the, the- Up front and to the side. Yeah, yeah, but actually for me, even as a female, it just, because yeah. I don't have much, as, you know, as much strength yeah, over body. Yeah, I've seen struggle trying to Yeah, charge I mean, it back, is. It, so, it is mean, a little bit of a struggle sometimes. For that. Yeah. But it does feel pretty intuitive. Yeah, so and I mean, because it still has, you know, it still has resistance, obviously, just yeah. you know, like anything else you would that you need to charge it. But for some of us that might not have the upper body strength or the arm strength to be able to manipulate, you know, just right back here like yeah. this, it's really easy to kind of get out here or palm up and then really, you know, bicep curl yeah. that thing in. So you're able to use different types of muscle uh, to actually get this to operate. And on mm -hmm. top of that, if you're left-handed, right-handed, you can switch this to the side. You can have it in an up position, down position, left side, right side, whatever you want to do, which Dang, is pretty cool. all the options. Yeah, it's unique. Yep, yeah. and they and they have a kind of a monolithic upper receiver design. Obviously, you can remove this rail piece if you wanted to, but at the end of the day, I think it's just a quality piece of machinery. It yeah. runs. For the price point, it's also going to be hard to beat. Uh, but yeah, so... I also like that you can put whatever, yeah, I mean, you can put a stock on it if you want to SBR it yeah. or whatever brace, which there's plenty of options out there now. Yeah, you throw a stock on it or. Do they have multiple SBR. barrel lengths and stuff? Uh, they too? do. Yes. Yeah. They have all the different barrel lengths that they're toying with as well. I think the 13.9 is in the works. They also have rifle configurations, 14, all, the, all that type of fun stuff. I think they do. But yeah. yeah. Yeah, they do. Yeah. So, yeah, you know. Yeah. So, uh, what you think, Auburn? Dude, I'm not going to lie. It's, uh, this one's getting up into the 3.5 of, of a stag rating so yep. it's just totally different you know something that you really don't see people out there and it's really fitting the purpose of a lot of different people right what's that trigger like i'm gonna drop the bolt <laughs> <back to you. laughs> do that again be like what's that trigger like yeah. what's that trigger like oh i'm gonna drop the bolt Oh, that's pretty good crisp <laughs> little trigger i don't like that but that's cool <laughs> <laughs> You got a half full. Yeah. yeah, it's about a mil spec, yeah. Yeah. But ambi safety, overall, pretty good stuff. But you said about a three and a half stag rating? Three and a half stag rating. I mean, that. it's That's just good. different. You it know, is you different. don't see that at all. And I, I like the fact that this is, can go in your backpack or oh, yeah. keep it as a truck gun, just something mm -hmm. ready to go. And that's kind of the purpose of some of these home defense designs. And yeah. I think they nailed it. Yeah. yeah. I think so too. All right, cool. So now we're rolling into our number two. Number two. Who is number two? Deuces. Deuces. Wow. Whoa, that, that was, was weird. All right. Oh, I so, thought I was saying it. <laughs> Number two, I'm going with stag arms. I'm going with stag arms for, well, I think Auburn could probably tell us a little bit. I mean, I was just going to say, I wish I there was really somebody here. I don't know much here. about stag, but sure, I'll give it my best shot. All right, really well, you, you give us all the little talking points about it, then I'll yeah. then I'll give you my reasoning as to why it's my number two. And then I'll okay. give you my reasonings. Is I it mean, your number two also? If you guys want to know with my scale of the, you know, the out of the five stag heads, this is this is a five out of five right here. It's like okay. Imagine that. The best thing you can get on the market is for right, a, a pistol. All right, let's start from goes. the tip and work our way down. All right, uh, sorry, <laughs> from the tip. 
So we have the VG6 Delta flash hider. You know, yeah. got rid of that bird cage, made a little cleaner look to it. And, it does you know, look a lot better than yeah. the standard A2. It looks mm -hmm. so much better and a little bit more value. So the other thing is we changed out the barrel. We want the BA uh, Hanson profile barrel, so super lightweight up on the front, a little bit more adjustability. Um, you get down towards the back. We actually finally brought in um, an AMB charging handle. So we went with the arrow breech, got the stag head right on there, which is pretty cool. Um, we did go with the completely AMB safety selector. So you're going to have something that actually is configurable to a 60 to 90 degree throw. So I didn't know that it was actually configurable to 60 yep. also. You just go yeah. in there and change it yourself. Um, then we just set it up with 90 right away. So just kind of give you a little bit more safety feature there. But okay. um, the other cool thing is we added the Hyperfire RBT trigger. Um, nice. so a really crisp trigger that you can fill right outside of the box. Really clean reset, so something you guys will have to fill on that. Um, kept the SB3 brace, um, and then really, you know, everything's pretty much the same, but adding the trigger and all the ambi features to it, we felt it was so much more that you're getting out of the box. Right. Um, adding value to it, and then for the price point, our whole goal with Stag is to keep that price, price point the same. Um, everything we do have in the right handed, we have in lefty, and then like anything, our warranties is, are incredible. They're, it's 100% American made. Uh, you got an infinite shot barrel guarantee and the lifetime transferable warranty. So, yeah. dang. Something happens, we pretty much have you covered. So, yeah, he yeah. doesn't know what he's talking about at all. I don't know. I don't know much no. about that. But <laughs> just from what I've read, I've heard there's pretty good things about them. So, all right, reason it's number two on my list is all these features that you mentioned mm -hmm. for the price point that it's at. I mean, right now on our website, you know, you guys can find it for, let's just say, a very good price. The internet's forever, sometimes prices change. So, classicfarms.com is where you can check out Stag Arms and all the other products we've talked about thus far. But ultimately, you guys just take into consideration some things that I think some manufacturers miss out on. Something as simple as like, you know, staking the castle nut. That's something yeah. you guys mm -hmm. do. Uh, you do have the six position actual buffer. At least I think it is, let me double check. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six. How about that? So that way you have a full on mil spec buffer in here and you can adjust that length of pull to whatever's comfortable for you and how you're gonna use it. And if you wanted to SBR and throw a stock on it, you don't have to switch the buffer out or anything. It's already yeah. ready to go, which is pretty cool. The fact that you guys went with the Aero Precision Breach, personally one of my favorite charging handles, oversized, ambidextrous, awesome. And VG6, some of the best muzzle devices I've had the opportunity to shoot with. That's what we've got on the Mark 13 up here. We've got yeah. on uh, a couple of different guns. I think we have it on one of Ryan's bolt guns and just overall a fantastic option. Now, I know you know VG6 pretty well. Are you guys coming out with like a QD? Or is VG6 coming out with like a QD? I can't like? speak for VG6, but I will say there's some cool things that we have in the works. Uh, may not have VG6 on them, but we will have some QD stuff for kind of some universal things. Okay. Um, some special projects that we're working on. And, and then just to add to this, we, these are in seven and a half inch and 10 and a half inch. Yeah. We are working on some some mid-length things kind of in that 13.9, maybe some of the 12 stuff yeah. that I know you're a really big fan of, but I that's am. some time that's gonna be spent working and developing those and, and yeah. testing them out. So. And, and this is a carbine length system in this one. This right? one's a carbine length. So yeah. yeah, I do like the fact that it's a carbine length system for the 10 and a half inch barrel. Soft shooting, works great, and the price point's really hard to beat. That's why it's number two on my list. Do you guys, wait, do you wanna know what I like about the gun? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. So I just really like this aim point. <laughs> That's a Actually. does not come. Our guns do not come with the aim point. Oh. But if they did, okay. Well, no, never mind. Be... Never mind. I'm good. <laughs> I'm good. I mean, yeah, it's a great gun. All right. Or the Lancer mag. They come with the Gen Three Magpul. Yep. Mags. Which is a fantastic mag. mag so. But I throw on my stuff on the guns yeah, that I like to run. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. No, it I'm just kidding. It actually is a really good gun, yeah. and I do like the charging handle. Yeah, I'm definitely it's, a fan. Yeah. So. And, uh, dude, a hyperfire trigger. I mean, yes. yeah. honestly, most guns nowadays, stock guns, the triggers typically suck. Yeah. So it is kind of nice that you have that extra upgrade in there mm -hmm. because the gun is, you know, priced phenomenally well. But then when you add in that trigger, which isn't an inexpensive trigger, right? it just adds yeah, you know, something more to the quality it, of the and gun. And for, like, you know, first-time buyers, you're trying to get into something new. You don't know much about the accessorized parts. That's yeah. where we're trying to save you money and time and well, just setting you up with something that yeah. when you buy your next rifle or pistol, you know kind of what you like and where to start from. from Absolutely. There, so. And not only that, but a lot of people, let's say it's an entry level AR for them, they don't even know how to install that trigger. That oh, might true. be sick. Kind of, yeah. you know, yeah. the thought of that might be intimidating. So it's nice that it already comes with that upgrade. I, th I think we probably have a video out there about like doing stuff like that, building ARs and whatnot. So if we don't, we will. All right, cool. So number two. 
Stag, good job, Auburn. Hey, good you job. too. Thanks, yeah, guys. Good job. Yeah. All right, like we'll see you. Bye, buddy. <laughs> no, just kidding. <laughs> right, but well. it isn't number one. <laughs> what is number one? I can't wait for this. That's but I also think I yeah, might know. Well, it's not, it can't have a five out of five stag, but we'll see. I don't know. <laughs> okay. Before we roll into the number one pick on my list here, I'm going to go ahead and throw an honorable mention out there. Arrow Precision. Oh, not stag arms? Well, you guys are number two. Oh, yeah. At least you made it on the list. Yeah, that's true. That's beggars, true. Beggars can't you be that, choosy, You bro. guys hear that arrow? <laughs> <laughs> but no, the reason arrow is not technically on the list is because you don't buy them as a complete gun. You can buy them as a set, a yeah. upper or lower receiver, complete, whatever you want to do. And I built this one out of one of Arrow's cool little camo paints that they had. I saw it and I was like, it was really cool. 30 cal, decided to go with a 300 blackout, throw a Fossek echo trigger in there because why the heck not? But what I do like about Arrow is they kind of like entice you to build, which I recommend every last one of you to do. Go out there, learn, put together some guns, have a good time doing it. Now we can talk about my number one pick. The number one. I know it's, Ava's it's, actually excited about this. I'm one. really excited about this. Yeah. Are you guys ready for it? Yeah, All right, excuse so. me, let me get this. Ooh, big, I was concealing it. <laughs> well, cause it's a pistol. The IWI Zion 15. Now, let me tell you what I love about this. Go step ahead. Aside, step it's, aside. it's your video. No. Got it. So it's 12.5 inches. Uh, it has the mid-length gas system, which yeah. just makes for this, like, it's just such a soft shooter. Yeah. Especially for just an air, you know, an air pistol. It's amazing. Oh. Uh, the B5 grip. Yes. Like I said, B5 is Everywhere. like on everything nowadays. Yeah. Uh, you got the AR, or I'm sorry, the uh, SB yeah. uh, A3. Brace. Yep. There you go. Um, this part right here is pretty cool. This little, you know. <laughs> That's my favorite part. This little notch right here. <laughs> so the way the rail interfaces. You tickle it. I, yes, it is. It is super nice. It does have a very solid locking, uh, lockup mechanism, and I've never had any issues with them whatsoever. This has always been kind of one of my recommended for first time buyers, stuff like that, because MSRP is coming at under a thousand dollars as well, which is pretty nice. Dude, it's it doesn't, phenomenal. It doesn't have like all of the fancy features like Stag does. It doesn't have like the ambidextrous safety or charging handle, things like that, or even you know a short throw safety. Yep, you guys heard it. But, but again, since this is the top budget AR-15 pistols. What really sets this aside from a lot of others on the market is that 12 and a half inch barrel with that mid-length system. Mm -hmm. Makes it soft shooting, super reliable. Do you guys have anything like that? Can say it's in the works, so. Okay, oh, okay. Let's see All what's right. going on, yeah. Right, also, cool. IWI, so this pistol is made actually in the US. Yes. In uh, Middletown, Pennsylvania, right. actually. Hey, but don't so, they pay you to say and talk? I mean, I am sponsored by work? them. I am oh, sponsored by them. Oh, but so that's why I wanted to talk about it so much. <laughs> well, I mean, because I have experience with it. I just all right, first it, of like... all, nobody has paid for this video. This is my top five list. Auburn with Stag, they just happened to show up. And I'm like, oddly enough, I have one of your guns that I'm going to be talking about today. And So thank you very much. And I would just like to say, I actually didn't even get paid to get here. It's like to be here. I mean, if you, you just want to come hang out with some friends. I mean, I came for the coffee, if we're being honest, and the Chick-fil-A is pretty good. <laughs> you know. Wow. Yeah. Anyway, number one, IWI Zion 12.5 inch AR pistol. That's my pick on it. Not my pick, but Maybe it's like day. a 3.5 rating. So it's 3.5 doesn't even, it doesn't even like a four. Five. It's a four, it's four? a four, let's yeah. be honest. You know, I'm, I'm I mean, think back. about the price. It's like it, under a thousand dollars. You're right, it's, 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 yeah. this is a four. Yeah. Not the five out of five. We already know which one's the five out of five. But So I've recommended, again, a lot of IWI's products and a and, lot of mine in and my videos. Sorry to cut you off. Yeah, but, it's fine. I'm used to it now. Okay, cool. Um, <laughs> I work with But Katie, actually, so. when I heard that we were recording this video, the first thing I said was, oh, did you guys include the IWI Zion? Because yeah. that was the first thing that came to mind because it's that great of a gun, especially in the budget realm. Yeah, no, it, it really is. So I'm a fan. That's my pick. Let me know if you guys agree, disagree, think there's guns that should be on the list that aren't or are on the list that shouldn't be. Let us know down in the comment section below. Let Auburn know exactly what you think about Stag Arms as well. Uh, you guys have recently done like a complete like rebranding and everything too. You guys have really stepped it up yeah. quite a bit. Yeah. And I'm excited to run a couple more of y'all's products. You'll see a video coming very soon where us three and Katie are gonna be running some uh, friendly, maybe not so friendly, three gun type of stuff for an obvious three I mean, gun gun. Well, one thing's yeah, well, for sure. We'll uh, maybe bring that out here soon on the next videos. Actually, yeah. one thing's for sure though. It's, it's probably going to be pretty entertaining and Yeah, stay funny. tuned for sure. Watch it. We're going to do some fun stuff. I think we're going to see Clint and Katie probably just like fall down the hill a little bit while me and Ava maybe do some good stuff. Oh, buddy. Yes. Oh. oh.
Yeah, I see it. It's, I, don't, I don't like this. Okay, just cut. Cut. We're done. Don't forget, anyway. to, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Yeah, that's, look at you go. <laughs> Classicfarms.com, again, to get your entries in for our current giveaway, by the way, which is also technically an AR pistol, uh, but definitely not budget friendly. It is the Sig Rattler 300 Blackout that you see behind us right here with the EOTech Optic. What more could you ask for when it comes to a little PDW? Short stroke piston driven design. It's pretty awesome. Have you shot one of these yet? Yeah, I have not. I want to. Oh. Let's, let's go shoot that. Oh, well, we'll do the. You? I thought we were shoot. I've shot it. Yeah. Oh, okay. I like you it. You haven't shot it. Huh? I haven't shot the it. The only let's... thing, yeah, I actually I do like it. Yeah, I know. It's awesome. But we'll leave it off there. Code word for this guy, since it's such a spicy little package. Code word is spicy. Oh. Get yourself a couple hundred extra entries there, and don't forget to refer your friends and family to get yourself the maximum amount of points to one entry method. Guys, as always, we appreciate you and your business. God bless. We'll see you next time at classicfirearms.com. Don't forget to check out Ava Flannel. I mean, oh, dang it, Flannel. But <laughs> check out my soon to come flannel line. <laughs> and of course, Stag. Thanks, Aubrey. Yeah, of course, guys. <laughs> <laughs>